All right, so it's Alex here back with my text and today, if you're wondering what's in this black case, it's a black magic design. Um, it's the ATM, ATEM Mini Pro. I'm currently using the ATM Mini, as you can see here. And they have a few differences. I'll show you that soon. But first, let's get on into the video. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box, which is an SKB case. It was waterproof until the guy made the case fit the ATM Mini Pro. He modified it. So that way it was, so now it's not waterproof because it has holes in it. And of course, as you can see back here, the cable buckets. So yeah, so first off, what came pre-installed, I actually took this yesterday and installed the ATM Mini Pro in here, but what came pre-installed was this 4K free feel world screen. Um, and then I'm about to open this up and show you everything that's on the inside. Let's just do that. And to do so, I'll switch to camera number two. We know this done. All right, so let's go ahead and unscrew that. And then do that. So now I can just pop this thing out and show you. So if I just take all of these out, they are numbered and labeled so I know where everything goes. And as you see, just from taking that out, it just falls back on my first off, let's get that. So here we go. So with it comes this, it's a special adapter that goes from the power cable to USB-C. For this Belkin, whatever um, power thing, I'm not sure of the exact name, but it came with it. It's boost charge USB-C power rate 20k and it power and it keeps this on so that way this can be a nice portable setup for now. For now I'll just close this up and just to show you this so it has it looks the same it's pretty much same size everything except for a few things and you might not be able to see that but I will show you so here is the pro and for comparison here is the mini so if you can see correctly it, it's missing these buttons right here those are streaming and uploading and other than that, that's really it. And also the button order is slightly different. And it also has um, video out things to show so that you can adjust which is which. So like on this, you can adjust which one is the main program. Um, but on this one you can because it has these this extra on this side But this one you can't change which one is the main program which means that if you want to do this The only thing that can show in the corner Is number one Let's say I was to hook up this well, I, I can actually change it with these buttons right here, one, two, three, and four, to make it to where this camera right here would show in the corner, and I would show big on here, like this. And that's the main difference. So now, let's go ahead and show the box. 
So this is a special case. Well, it's not really special. They just drilled holes, added 3D printed parts to it. Other than that, there's not much difference than from the case than if you were to buy the case separate and do it yourself. Other than you would have to manually do it and work to get it all set up. So, of course, you see mic one, mic two. That's what this says right here. Mic one and mic two. One and two. And then we can go ahead and plug these in. So it's kind of weird because it goes from this side, one to four. So generally speaking, you plug it in from four, three, two and one, like so. And it's sometimes hard to get them in there. And then last but not least, number one. Alrighty, so this is HDMI out, as you can read here. Out, so that just plugs in right here. HDMI out. Now this USB plug isn't labeled because it's the only USB plug. It's just USB-C. Ethernet, not labeled again because there's only one Ethernet port here. And of course, power cable because honestly, if you don't know it's a power cable and you try to plug it into one of these, you're not the bet brightest because it's hard to fit into any of these holes. And then just do this, crunch it in there, make sure it's nice and even by taking this and doing like so. Then to redo it, you just take this and screw. If I can get it in the hole. So of course this is an Allen wrench that comes with it. As you see here, so you just screw it in, get it nice and snug. Okay, okay. Alright, so let's get started on this side. Just screw it in with my Allen wrench, or with the Allen wrench. And then take this, the power bank. Plug it in, take this, and plug it in right there. And then there's this switch back here, which you can you guys can see by the green light. So now it's on, I open it up, it's on. Okay, so now what I'll do is I will, if I can, if I remember where that extra HDMI cable was. Oh, never mind, not right now. But this is it. This right here is the screen. Let me change the cameras. And yeah. That is our new on the go setup for the ATM Mini Pro for multicams, and that'll be it for today, and I'll see you next time.